Hey guys, Malachi Bot here, and yes, I know it has been a very long time, long time since I've made a video, uh, but I am coming to you guys because uh, I did uh, post up my uh, pre-release uh, video from Boundaries Cross, which I did not do that well uh, with my packs, uh, but I wanted to show you the pre-release uh, deck box that you got. I loved the artwork on these packs. I do not have, I didn't save any packs because I threw them away before I really uh, got to. Uh, save them uh but there's landorus uh white curum keldy keldeo and then uh there's black curum and i love black curum um and i'll show you why here in a minute uh but yeah uh did get that um and i wanted to show you guys uh what my collection looks like so far it's pretty sad this set is so huge and uh a lot of the cards look so amazing in it um i did get to see one shiny and i don't i don't have one uh but i did get to see the shiny rocky helmet um that the, nobody pulled a shiny in my pre-release but uh, this kid had went to one in a few towns away uh, last weekend and uh, he ended up getting a shiny uh rocky helmet now uh I went and played three matches. Um, there was a wreck on the interstate uh, close to where my pre-release was, and uh, they had we waited a little bit longer, and so we didn't get to play uh, that many matches. We only got to play three. Thank goodness, because I had to go to work right afterwards. Uh, but uh, this is really awesome. This is my favorite uh, artwork out of any of the any of the sets actually um, and black curum uh, is my favorite pokemon now <laughs> uh zekrom is my favorite but just the idea that it's the one of the first uh, pokemon that has fused just look at that that is just so amazing i can't oh anyway uh i went one and two uh, my deck was really bad because my pulls were really bad as you saw um i ran a uh Psychic and water deck and there I didn't pull a blastoise. The only thing I really pulled was a uh, a Musharna um, And uh, Lopany, let me tell you something. Lopany helped me out a bunch. It actually won one of the matches for me um, Lopany did the only match I won uh, Lopany uh, Did win it for me uh, but uh, uh, that, that card's really good. I did not even pull a Rattata or a uh, Raticate. And I was hoping I'd get a Raticate because of its ability. Or it's a, not ability. His, his second attack was Super Fang. Uh, attack, attach, attacks a uh, Pokemon and only leaves him 10 HP. So that's really kind of a, uh, a really good attack. Um, but I, what I wanted to show you guys uh, now is I wanted to show you my... Uh, my set so far um i don't have the uh album like i do for my dragons exalted but i did buy an ultra pro collector's album uh this one has uh 10 pages in it um and it, it's a nine card as you can see it's pretty big uh it is a nine card album uh, which holds 180 cards i got this because uh of how big the set actually is um i, I normally do them uh, in my little four pocket binders if you guys have seen uh, but I decided since this set is so big to go ahead and get one of these um, but I'll go ahead and pick you up and uh, I'll show you what my collection looks like so far uh, as you see I'm pretty bare just by looking at this first page um, pretty empty this set is so huge um, I, I traded for a couple things and you'll see those here in a minute um, but I wanted to show you real fast. Uh, I got Whimsicott. You guys didn't get to see my last two packs because I forgot to... Uh, I tried to video them, but for some reason, I thought I hit the record button, but I didn't. <laughs> but I did pull a Whimsicott, and I pulled another Victini. Uh, I have three of these Victinis, one reverse. So <laughs> if you guys are interested in Victini, please let me know. Um, I did pull a Charizard, or I did trade for a Charizard. And uh, he's really awesome. Of course, you know, Charizard is a fan favorite. Not my favorite starter, uh, but he is pretty cool nonetheless. Uh, but Embor looks awesome. I did get to see an Embor, and he looked really cool. Um, so I, I was, I'm hoping I get him uh, pretty soon. Um, and I'll show you something else here in a minute. I did not get a War Turtle, did not get a Blastoise, but I have my placeholder. 
uh, my Japanese Blastoise. Um, he will be for trade. Um, if you if you have an English Blastoise and you would like to trade for the Japanese Blastoise, let me know. Um, but I something good for him at least. Uh, and of course, I'm I got both Gold Ducks. Uh, this is the rare Gold Duck and. If you guys have seen my collections, I'm actually going to make a collection video, but uh, my collections are strictly no reverses. I don't collect the reverses. These are just placeholders for now until I actually get the regular cards. Um, there are so many rares, so many hollows in this set, uh, so many ultra rares is ridiculous. I think there's like 20 ultra rares. I don't really know, but it's just dumb. Um, but I... I I'm hoping that I can can complete this set like I have the last couple of sets. D it takes me to like the very first few days of the newest set to get the last set completed. <laughs> so, um, but it, I did get trade for a Samurott Hollow. I pulled three or four gel, or I got three or four Jellicents. Uh, somebody gave me some of their cards, um, and I got uh, another Jellicent, which is kind of dumb. Um, <laughs> I got the regular Keldeo, as you saw. Keldeo, as a lot of people, um, if I mispronounce a name, it's the way I like to say it. Sorry, you just get over it. Um, but there's the EX. I did get the EX version. This card is really, really good. It's uh, Secret Sword does 50 plus 20 for each water energy attached. So if you have three, that's already 110. That's ridiculous. And its Russian ability is just, just amazing. Um, I still need a lot of uncommons and commons for this set, which is crazy. Um, I did trade for the Electivire Hollow. Um, uh, Grumpig Rare. I think I pulled that, or I can't remember. I traded. Uh, same for Dusknor. I did uh, trade for a Dusknor and then ended up trading it again. <laughs> uh, but I'm just putting this uh, Japanese Dusknor in its place for right now. And yeah, you saw something else right there. Uh, I did get a Cresselia EX. Uh, I did trade for that. Traded one of my Tarakions I have for that. And I don't really care if that's not a fair deal or not, but I just needed a new EX. And I don't need Tarakion anymore since I decided not to use that deck. So, uh, and I'll tell you something. Venipede and the Whirlipede and the Scolipede line is amazing. Um, their poison point ability is just amazing. Um, I did trade for a Meloetta Hollow. Um, Gliss score is the Japanese one, and uh, he's just play setter for right now. As well as the Crystal. Now there's two different Mianfus in the set, which I didn't realize that until I started putting these in there. I was wondering, like, hmm, there's a hole missing there from Mianxiao. Uh Same with Liepard, I have the Japanese one. Amanda Buzz looks cool. There's uh, Scizor. I did pull him. He was one of the two hollows I actually pulled myself. And there's a Clink. Uh, but there's the uh, Flygon that I also pulled, which looks amazing. And, and this is the, this is so cool uh, because uh, it's a uh, Sand Slammer ability. That's pretty good. Uh, between turns, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, put one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon. That, that's pretty cool if you ask me. Um, I did get a trade for a White Curum Reverse. Like I said, I'm, I know I don't like reverses, but I'm thinking about making a White Curum deck, so I traded for that. Plus, I didn't get one, so I thought I'd put that in there. There's a place set. That page is almost empty. Uh, that's mainly all the Dragon Pokemon right there. Uh, colorless Pokemon make a big return to this set. Um, I can't remember who that is. We get to see some old, old favorites here. We got Watchog. I got Herdier. Did not get Lillipup or Stoutland, which is really weird. Um, and then I got Aspersia City Gym. I have a few of those. Energy Surge, Great Ball, uh, Potion, Pokeball. I did get one Hue. I do not have a Skyla or a Rocky Helmet yet. Um, I'm not looking to trade for those um, because I'm sure I'll pull them eventually. Uh, and switch and then we'll go over here and then town map town map is really awesome now one of the coolest things that I traded for this whole pre-release was this guy right here and we'll bring him out and I'll throw that to the side there there's black curum ex 
full art. Look how awesome that is. So awesome. I, I wanted this card really badly uh, to put into my uh, thing about making a cure uh, Zekrom slash Black Curum collection again. I started a uh, Zekrom, but did not end up getting to end up trading a lot of those off. Yeah, you probably can see that if you can. I don't really care. And I put it in the wrong hole. It doesn't matter. I'll get it in a second. Uh, but then here's the pre-release uh, Flygon, which I'm sure everybody has already seen a thousand times. But I think it really looks really cool. Hollow effect on that is really nice. But yeah, that is my Boundaries Cross collection so far. Um, it will be growing within the next week. I know that for a fact because I am announcing that I have purchased a Boundaries Cross booster box. And you guys will be getting to see that uh, probably at the end of next week. I'm hoping that it comes in pretty soon. Um, but I am, I'm very happy that I actually did get to uh, purchase another booster box uh, to open for you guys. Um, and I'm still working on that raffle. I have a, I'm really close to starting it. So um, I really appreciate it if you guys would uh, stay tuned uh, to my channel because I will be doing um, a lot more stuff uh, coming up. Hopefully nothing happens. I've <laughs> been really busy here recently, so um, I really appreciate you guys uh, being patient with me. And I really appreciate you guys uh, who, who are new subscribers to me. Um, I'm hoping that you do enjoy my videos. Um, if you like what I do, don't you know don't hesitate to give me a nice big thumbs up because I do like uh, the thumbs up. Um, but I'll be giving away um, some stuff, uh, possibly some boundaries cross things, um, also some uh, older stuff, and I'm kind of happy about being able to give that away. So stay tuned to my channel. Uh, make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and like, favorite, and subscribe, and. Uh, keep watching my videos um, and comment down below too uh, and let me know um, how your guys pre-release went if you did go to one uh, just let me know how that did go so thanks guys have a great night